Flavor family, what is up? It is Bobby and Thomas back in Thomas's kitchen. Hey, listen, I hope you saw part one of our video where we number one got kicked out of Costco for the <laughs> first time in my history. So we're off to a great start in uh, LA, but we got all the ingredients we need to make some pretty cool uh, breakfast recipes and some smoothie recipes that Thomas is gonna walk us through. So before we get started, a couple of things. Check out Thomas's channel and subscribe with the link down below. We have two videos over there. Aldi shopping haul and two really cool recipes we did. Then we have the part one of this video and we're doing a lot of cool stuff here in LA. We have more videos planned for tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So it's gonna be Bobby and Thomas overload. Before we get started, I wanna say, uh, thank our longtime sponsor of the channel, Thrive Market. Thomas and I love Thrive Market because everything you can get at Whole Foods, Sprouts Farmers Market, you can get at Thrive for up to 30% cheaper. We're talking organic, non-GMO, keto, paleo, all your favorite stuff. And they have a new thing called the Price Scan Matcher. You can actually walk into the grocery store, scan a product with the uh, code on back. It'll tell you if it's cheaper That's on awesome. Thrive Market. And if they don't have it, they'll uh, recommend an alternative that usually is cheaper. So down below in the description box is my bundle. Thomas also has a really yep. cool uh, keto bundle on his channel. So make sure you check that out. You get an extra 25% off your first order, free shipping, and a 30-day free trial. So thank you, Thrive, for being a supporter of my channel and of Thomas's. Okay, first up is something I've never done before. We kind of brainstormed it like an hour ago. Yeah. We're gonna make a low carb uh, eggs benedict with an avocado hollandaise sauce. So we saw these at uh, Costco, right? These are a keto staple. So what I thought is we need to crisp these up and give them a little bit of texture, right? Yeah. So I thought we got the old oven cranking back there. We can kind of make them into a little basket and maybe make them a little crispier. What do you think about that? No, that's perfect. And at least, I mean, uh, you're not gonna denature them. You're not gonna get rid of a lot of, like the benefits of things that are in cauliflower is you can cook cauliflower, you can heat it up, you can beat the heck out of it, to right. be completely honest, and you're still gonna have a lot of the d methane, you're still gonna have a lot of the actual polyphenols. Because believe it or not, you don't always kill all the polyphenols out when you cook things. That's kind of a wives' tale. Like yep. you cook some of them out, but, so you can like get these nice and crispy and still get a lot of the benefit of cauliflower. Exactly, because it's a cauliflower, egg white, and, uh, olive oil now, yeah. not, yeah. not canola oil. Know, so nice. they've been watching our videos, they did something. So check this out. We're just gonna take a couple of ramekins here and I'm gonna gently just press it in just like that. And it'll get a little deeper once it goes in the oven. And if you don't have access to crepinis, grab your favorite low carb tortilla. I know, um, I believe it's La Tortilla Factory makes a really good one or Thrive Market has some really good ones on their website. And then you can use that, just cut it into a round. If you have a tortilla, you might wanna spray it with avocado oil. So I'm just gonna take these. I'll come back here, JR. Put it on the lowest setting here, so it's not too close to the element. And then I'm gonna bake these for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're golden brown around the edges and firm enough to hold our poached egg. So I'm you, pretty stoked. Could you put that. a little bit of like a weight in there or something too to hold them in the cup or is that gonna- I think that's gonna make them fold over themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So once again, I've never done this before guys. So we're totally experimenting here. That's how we roll. So while that's going, we're gonna make our hollandaise sauce. Okay. And we're gonna throw a little bit of avocado yes, in there that again, was, right? Yes, that, that was my jam on it. I wanna yeah. throw a little spin on the hollandaise Yeah, so why are we adding avocado to hollandaise sauce? All about the oleic acid. So recent science, this stuff is really cool. So within this avocado, we've got a very specific oil, okay? An omega-9 known as oleic acid. Now oleic acid been known for anti-inflammatory benefits. That's all fine and dandy, but what is really cool about the avocado and why it still continues to reign supreme as what I think is the best keto fat, to be completely honest, is that oleic acid converts into something known as OEA. Very long, complicated word, oleolethanolamide, which <laughs> is a tough word to say. But basically what it does is it upregulates all these different enzymatic activities in your body that literally get fat mobilized into the bloodstream easier. So therefore, if you're doing a low carb diet, you're trying to get into ketosis, yeah. olive oil and avocados, avocado oil, are two amazing things. So we've got the olive oil that's in the crepinis, which is great, but then we've got a copious amount. So why the heck not? We've got good yeah. saturated fats that are gonna be in the hollandaise anyway. Totally. Let's go ahead and let's add some good monounsaturated fats. Too. Perfect, and we got another great fat here, saturated fat in the form of grass-fed butter. So I want you to throw the fire over this and kind of melt it gently. And then over here, JR, I'm gonna start on the hollandaise sauce. I have two pasture-raised egg yolks. Make sure there's no whites. We're gonna put that in. Go, 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 go. Wow, this guy's sticky as can be. And then you need a little bit of acid. So I'm gonna grab the lemon here, squeeze about a tablespoon or so, make sure to catch the seeds. And then Thomas, can you pinch a little bit of unrefined yes. Redmond salt in there? So we've got the Redmond real salt here. So what's interesting is 
Uh, pink Himalayan salt's good too. The reason we're usually going with Redmond is just because you are going to have a little bit of a, a lower sulfur content than what's in the Himalayan salt. The Himalayan salt's still awesome. Yeah, like really totally. good full spectrum minerals, not just sodium chloride. But I do like using Redmond whenever possible right. just because of that. It's and that, it's mine in the USA. So. Yeah, it makes it a little bit right, easier. Right, absolutely. Yeah. And then we'll shake in a little bit of cayenne pepper. Ooh. Yeah. Classic. Nice thermogenic effect. Exactly. There. We talked all about that in the last video, so make sure to check that out on Thomas's channel. So I'm just going to blend this up. And then Thomas, grab the uh, eggs over here. You guys, I'm still giddy about these eggs. Let me hit the button here for 15 seconds. We don't have this in Chicago, but in LA, of course they have LA, organic pasture-raised certified humane eggs. So if you're looking for pasture-raised, make sure it has a certified humane sticker on there. That means the uh, chickens are treated well. But it was like, what, three fifty a dozen, which yeah. is unheard of, and they're organic. And California prices. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> seriously, right? Seriously. On that, on top of it, because if you get the uh, Vital Farms organic uh, pasture-raised eggs at Whole Foods, I'm talking seven bones. So it's really, yeah, really, it's really expensive. expensive That's a great deal. So maybe one day in Chicago, land we'll get it. Organic and pasture-raised, which is actually usually, sometimes you'll come across one or the yeah, other. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to get it. Nice. So basically, I'm going to add the melted butter. Check out what's going on here. Do you want to wait for that to go yeah. away, or are we good to go? No, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for it to melt away. And then we're also simmering some water back there for some poached eggs. Probably looking good here. Perfect. So what I want you to do, Thomas, is with the machine going, just slowly drizzle it in very slow because you're emulsifying fat on fat here. Oh, that'll mess this up. Nah, here. you can't mess it up. It's like making an aioli, right? It's very hard to mix fat into fat, so you gotta go slow, otherwise you break the emulsion. And this is a classic French hollandaise sauce using the blender, which is something a French instructor would never let you do. Like this is what you want. Look at that. Oh, that's perfect. For hollandaise. But we're not done. Now is the part we're going to add a little bit of avocado to get that fiber in there, right? All right. So here's what's cool. So we can use that avocado, or if you're somewhere where you can't get a good avocado, you can't get fresh avocado, we picked up these bad boys at Costco too. So these are a little holy guacamole, really simple. Uh, the nice thing about the holy guacamole is they don't have a bunch of other seasonings in them. Totally. So it would really complement the just that texture and the flavor of the hollandaise that we've made. Now we have avocado on hand, yep. so let's go ahead and yeah, use, we'll use that. this for sure. We wanted to at least throw these out there just in case. People Great have, idea. Yeah. But sometimes, I guess they only have it in season at Costco, uh, is the frozen avocado chunks, yes. which they didn't have. That'd That'd be be nice really to have that would be nice to have Because we're yes. going to be doing some smoothies after this, and I really wanted those frozen yeah, avocados. I know. But it would have been nice. It's all good. So we'll scoop that in here. We'll just add, like, that much avocado. And then blend it up one more time. And all of a sudden, it's going to turn into what I call, like, Ghostbusters slimy green, right? I actually kept this yellow color really nice. Yeah. So that is done. We'll just put that to the side here. Let's see how our egg cups there are really kind of uh, looking nice. Come oh, back not, here. Not bad at all, yeah. So they're getting a little brown around the edge. It doesn't matter if it falls in. It's still retaining its shape. That's exactly what I want. So we'll go another about three to four minutes on that. These are great because you want that vessel, something to like yeah. hold that prosciutto oh, exactly. and That's the sauce. Perfect. So let's drop two more soft boiled eggs. Hey, can you grab me some apple cider vinegar we can put in there? Because yeah, the key to absolutely. making like um, a soft boiled egg that actually wraps around itself is putting a splash of vinegar and water. So Thomas is just gonna put a little shot in there. Nice acetic acid here anyway. He did have a three pack of this to be honest, but <laughs> I dropped two on the floor and made a huge mess here, so. It's all good. <laughs> all okay, right. and so how then, are we doing this? So normally you would crack this in a little ramekin, so let's just do this. Because you don't want a shell to go in there. So here's what I would do, you guys. Crack one egg gently into the bowl. And then Thomas, what I want you to do is take this spoon here, create a vortex in there for me. The force is gonna help the white kind of wrap around itself. And then I'll add the second one. And I like a really soft poached egg. I'll just, that's good. So just, yep. Still got enough vortex. Yeah, we got enough. So just keep your eye on that. And whenever you think it's done, We'll pull it out and we'll put no, it on a clean. Whenever plate. I think it's done. Yes. <laughs> Thomas can I, cook better than you guys think. Just so I can, you know. I can tell you all about what's going on in this egg and what it's going to do in your body and how it's going to help you potentially burn some fat. But I don't know if I can tell you when it's ready to come out of this. Pot. All right. Well, we'll do it together. So you guys, uh, crepini cups, almost done. These will be maybe two more minutes. I like a very soft, runny egg, especially for a pasture. Yeah, raise. totally. We got our beautiful avocado infused hollandaise sauce done here. So let's come back to y'all in about two minutes and we're pretty much done with this. We can get out to three protein packed smoothies that'll yeah. rock your day. Yes. Awesome. All right, so it's only been about 12 minutes, but I think these are done. You can see the edges here, got golden. It 
It's still a little soft in the middle, but look, it's holding the cup. That's our vessel to fill with yumminess. So I'm gonna take these out. They are done. All right, so these are done. Oops, no, it's no, no. <laughs> Ideally, you want a slotted spoon, but we're going, this is college room style, right? You don't have too many things in the kitchen. Nah. You're gonna get it done. Exactly. Nice source of choline there, man. We get our neurotransmitter boost. A little brain boost. Happening. I love it. I can need a brain boost right now. So when they Just come out. Perfect for a college dorm room. A little bit of salt. Uh, can you grab that prosciutto de parma yes. out of the fridge? I'm really stoked about this, you guys. And everything is low carb. I got to calculate the macros. I'll put that down in the description box along with the recipe over on flavcity.com and over on Thomas's channel. We made two breakfast recipes that, oh, those guys, awesome. the crew devoured it like wolves <laughs> afterwards. We <laughs> made left. a mini meatball hash with uh, turkey meatballs and tons of keto vegetables. And we made uh, the keto Starbucks, uh, Starbucks egg bites yes. with uh, bacon. Extra mini, but extra delicious, yeah, right? Amazing, amazing stuff. All right, so we have the prosciutto di parma. Let's build our cups and then try it and move on to smoothies. So if you want to be fancy, you could actually crisp up the prosciutto, but I really feel like there's no need for that in this one. Yeah, good combination of textures there. Yep, and then we'll add the poached egg right there. And then we'll add the drizzle of the avocado hollandaise sauce on top. Oh, <laughs> All right, Go cheers, ahead. mate. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What do you say? If it doesn't get all over the place. Mm-hmm. Dang, you guys. I just need one more thing. We, maybe we both need a little more. Hollandaise sauce. Mm -hmm. Right there. I love how that egg yolk just explodes. The crepe is like the perfect amount of crispiness. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. All right. No one says it's clean. No one says clean. Stay tuned because we're not done. We're going to clean up a little bit and we're going to make a couple different variations of some awesome smoothies. Stoked about that. I'm going to take a quick shower. <laughs> See you in a minute. All right, three smoothies from Thomas. But before we go on, I noticed this in the corner of your <laughs> kitchen. The dude loves Thrive Market as much as I do. And we get a lot of the same stuff. So he's got the unflavored grass-fed collagen peptides. So put this in my smoothies. Put it in my tea. I love it. Put it in yogurt. Yeah, yeah, love it, dude. And he's got this uh, creamer, which I think we can use for one of the smoothies, right? This is, okay, if you remember, if you watched our Costco haul that we yep. did together, yep. we walked by the, the layered creamers. The yeah, layered the superfood. Super mm -hmm. This stuff is epic. But we passed on it when we were at the grocery store because we were like, ah, uh, you know, it's 20 bucks. It's a huge and, bag. And, and just for what we're doing for the sake of this, let's save it for someone that's going to totally. need it. Then we remembered, wait a minute, whoa. <laughs> uh, we got this stuff here. It, it's essentially almost identical. Yeah, I mean, it's very, totally. very similar and, and it's going to serve the purpose of yeah, totally, yeah. laying around. So check out these two items. Also check out my link down below. 25% off your first order. You can check out Thomas's bundle. I just want you guys to try it out. I think you're going to love it. All right, first keto recipe, yeah. go for it. So we got, we got three smoothies. Let me break them down for you really quick so you make sure that you're staying locked in. Okay, the first one, I know that so many of your viewers are keto and yep. so many of my viewers are keto. You don't have to be keto to do this one smoothie, but the first smoothie we're gonna talk about is purely a keto smoothie. Okay. It's gonna have some fruit in it, but low glycemic, low amounts of fruit, good amount of fat. We don't wanna combine too much fat and carb, spike your insulin, it makes it so that the fat goes into storage a lot easier. I'll talk more about that. Okay, then we're gonna do a high antioxidant smoothie. I heard that all smoothies are antioxidant rich, but in this case, we're going to do things a little bit different. So I want to make sure that you're staying locked in for that. And then we're going to do what I call blueberries and spice. Okay. This is a mental brain blast. It is perfect. It's like a natural nootropic smoothie. So it's not keto friendly. It could be, you know, I guess you could if you toned it down, but anyway, you're going to love it. I'm going to have a lot to say about that one. Okay. So we already took the liberty of adding two cups of strawberries for this keto recipe. Um, that's a lot of strawberries. You're not going to want to drink this all in one serving for you. It will kick you out of ketosis. Uh, but even if you're not in keto and you want to keep it just like low glycemic yeah. and low sugar, this is the way to roll. So first thing I want to do, let's go ahead and let's add some of this layered creamer or in this case thrive, <laughs> thrive. yeah so, exactly yeah and this stuff can be dangerous because like okay one tablespoon is 40 calories okay it, it adds up in calories really quick but it's coconut milk it's uh, coconut milk powder coconut oil and medium chain triglycerides we want the mcts in there but you'll notice if you do mct oil in a smoothie it separates yeah when it's in its instantized powder form, it's really great. So I'm doing just a, like a rounded tablespoon there. It's probably get about 50 calories with a couple of good grams of fat. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna eyeball about two tablespoons, maybe a little bit more 
of full fat coconut cream. Okay, here's the thing. We could not find this at our local Simi Valley Costco. Yeah, it was a bummer. Okay, but Costco does have coconut milk. They have, what brand is it? They it's have? the Thai Kitchen one. Yeah, the Thai Kitchen one. So there's some, uh, there's some thickeners in there, but yeah. it's not the end of the world. Actually, the Thrive Market coconut milk is uh, emulsifier free. Oh, sweet. So okay, check perfect. That out. Well, this one in, from uh, Sprouts is too, so there we're, we're good. Yeah. So let's go ahead and I'm going to add two tablespoons perfect. there. Okay, so what that's going to do, it's going to give us the creaminess and the consistency that we want with a smoothie, but it's also going to give us more of the medium chain triglycerides. Love it. What's really cool about these MCTs is they are doing an absolute wonderful job in our body of converting into ketones, giving us that nice mental fire that we want when we're on a low carb diet. Uh, then let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to use a clean fork here, but also the benefit of using the fork is ah, good call. you get to strain some of the oil off. This is my new obsession, you guys. Nutso is amazing and the price over at Costco is fantastic. I'm not going to use much. If you look at this, this is a little less That's than a tablespoon. Yeah. Not using a whole lot. Two reasons. Actually, we need a little bit more than that. Calories, baby. We don't want that many calories. People sure. think, okay, I'm on keto. I can have as much fat as I want. Not the case. Right. Calorie is still a calorie. Totally. Okay, so even when you're on keto, if you go periods of time where you keep it a little bit leaner, you might find that you end up having better results. Totally so just, agree. You know, I go through what I call fat surges, where like I'll go higher amounts of fat, get my body adapted to keto a little bit better, and then I'll restrict the fats pretty aggressively and just like go that. lean protein. And then my body's like, where's all the fat? So it has no choice but start pulling from my body fat. It's I really, like that a lot. It's really, really cool. Uh, so that's all we need there. You can add a little bit more if you need to. Cinnamon, that's for another one. Uh, chia seed, I'm just going to add a little bit in there. There's already chia seeds in the mm -hmm. nutso, but the reason that I'm doing this is because it's going to thicken it up. You've uh, made chia pudding before, right? Yes, indeed. Okay, it likes to absorb the water. There's no real reason other than getting a little bit of fiber and a little bit of thickener. Add, yep, <laughs> that's what that is. It's salt. Salt it, in a smoothie. Everyone knows we love salt in this channel. But, but, so. but in a smoothie? Like, True. That's, Thomas that's, lost his mind. He's totally... <laughs> yeah, so not for this reason. I mentioned previously, like when you are in keto or on keto, what happens is you, you lose a lot of your minerals, your electrolytes. So it's okay, especially if you're having this in the morning. You're going to be dehydrated in the morning. You lose a lot through your just water vapor when you breathe overnight. Right. People don't realize that. And what kind of salt are we using? We're using Redmond Real right. Salt. He loves it as much Good as I do. I'm obsessed. I sound like a broken record. <laughs> I feel every video I'm a broken record. <laughs> you know what? You gotta, when you're making these content, like it's, it's hard to understand uh, from the viewer perspective right. sometimes. But we have new subscribers coming in all exactly. the time. And they're not always seeing all of our exactly. content. So just bear with us sometimes when we repeat ourselves. It's not just because we forgot that we talked about it. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of Lakanto. Yep. You don't have to do that. But strawberries aren't super, super sweet. Agreed. Okay, so if you want it to be sweet, then again, I'm just going to dash a little bit yeah. in there. Probably do. Half a know. teaspoon to a teaspoon. Yeah, that's probably about Perfect. good. Uh, you can totally forego this. You don't absolutely need it. Then your discretion yes. uh, with this. You can add pea protein, unflavored pea protein. Okay, You can add some whey protein, but you want to use whey protein isolate, not whey protein concentrate. I am on a collagen kick right now. Can you actually yeah, let's grab, grab that collagen? We need that for sure. Okay. And the nice thing about this, you see how I'm not wasting any measuring cups or anything. Like you could. There's no need. I mean, this has a scooper. So I'm going to use a nice scoop of collagen here. And that has nine grams of grass-fed protein. Not a complete protein, but still pretty decent. No, but it, it acts in different ways. So, you know, collagen is all about more so than just the hair, skin, and nails. Right. It's more about what it can do for your gut biome. and Right. So he talks gut about health. gut microbiome as much as I do, if not more. Super important. Totally. All, all right. right. And we got our, we got our Costco uh, almond milk yep. here, which is perfect. Unsweetened. Organic. Pop Great this, deal. Pop the sucker off. Again, we're going to eyeball it. Um, you know, we've got to make sure... I make the constant yeah. mistake whenever I'm making smoothies of uh, not adding enough. I would rather you add more than not enough. What do you think? That looks good to me. All right. So I was watching uh, the New England Patriots channel on YouTube, uh -huh. and they had the nutritionist showing how they make smoothies for each player every single day, put the name on the cup, and they can grab it right after a workout. Oh, nice. It's like the sweetest setup ever, you guys. I want to be on the Patriots, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I almost <laughs> forgot one of the, the most important oh, the avocado. So we've got the avocado. Which again, remember our oleic yeah. acid, oleal and ethanolamine? Yep. I don't <laughs> remember that. No, I can't say it, but I remember it. You're fine. <laughs> uh, again, I'm just going to use, we already have a lot of fat in this. Yeah, totally. Okay, and this, unfortunately, this avocado is a little bit firm. So I'm going to just use, I don't know, probably, that's probably about two tablespoons yep. or so of avocado. What I always say is go with your favorite fat. But the cool thing is, you might be wondering, okay, this is a lot of calories, a lot of fats. But I have a wide, thank you, wide diversity of fats yes. here. And it's all about, just like when you have carbohydrates, you don't want to just have pure glucose, right? Exactly. You want just like a exactly. variety. You've got a variety of fats. It's a, it's a fat medley. Well said. Pulse this sucker for a little bit. With, especially with the high fats, things are going to kind of separate a little bit. Might need to just do that now and then. And those of you that know my channel know that I am keto, and here I am. I'm going to take a sip of this, <laughs> proving it is indeed keto. Cheers, man. Cheers, my man. 
right? It's awesome. It's, it's like a liquid fat bomb. It's awesome. So people are probably going to ask about macros with this. This, we made about three servings based upon, how, like that would probably fill up another yeah. cup. I would say each one of these servings, you're probably sitting in the ballpark of 200-ish calories, probably sitting somewhere in the ballpark of between 16 and 22 grams of fat, uh, less than 10 grams of carbs. So yeah, you will get some carbs, carbs allocated, yeah. but all good. And what time of the day and what function would the smoothie be best for? Most people, we're talking about breakfast alternatives, right? So I will say this is a great breakfast alternative. However, I'm also a fan of reallocating your carbohydrates to the end of the day. Ah. So this could be actually a great hear me out on it, like side dish to have with like some chicken breast. Wow. Like that because the carbohydrates at night are going to allow tryptophan to get in your brain, help you sleep a little bit better. You suffer from ketosomnia? I do. I sleep like four hours a night wow. when I'm deep in keto because I'm just like, yeah. brain is going, right? Anyway, right. take some of this. Sounds great. We've got to clean up really quick uh -huh. and we'll be right back for antioxidant power. Awesome, bro. Man, I'm doing four videos a week. This guy's doing seven. It's stressful producing this much content. Yeah, it's, not, it's not as easy as people think. No, it isn't, <laughs> but we have a remedy for that, right? Yeah, you're stressed out. All right, well, then you need to be taking drastic measures to reduce what is called reactive oxygen species within your body. So maybe you've heard of oxidative stress, right? Yes. You've heard of antioxidants. Yep. That's all fine and dandy, but what we really need to understand is what's happening when that occurs. So quick biochem lesson. Every time that your cells are making energy, there is a cellular byproduct of waste. It's just a natural yep. process. So you have what's called the electron transport chain, basically when electricity is essentially created in your body. And when that electricity is created, rogue electrons that just are just extra pieces go out and they float through your bloodstream and they react with things. And when they react with things, that is what creates reactive oxygen species. So when you hear people talking about antioxidants, antioxidants are designed to combat the X. So we're always under stress in our bodies, but then when we're stressed out from work and things like that, we have a lot more. So the whole purpose of this smoothie is to have antioxidant fighting capabilities while also giving you very interesting forms of fiber that are gonna keep you satiated. So this is perfect wow. for, I'm stressed out, I'm busy, I need a quick breakfast, and I really don't wanna be munching throughout the rest awesome. of the day. Awesome, pretty much 90% of people watching. How awesome, this is why I flew to LA, you guys. This food science knowledge, my recipes, this is why this collaboration is the bomb, right? Yeah, man, it's awesome. You're uh, not too shabby yourself, man. <laughs> Costco again. We actually, here's what's cool. We found this, I know that Costco had their frozen cherries, and I almost grabbed their frozen cherries, and then I was like, what's this? I hadn't, I hadn't seen this before. Never. So this is uh, strawberries, cherries, blueberries, raspberries, and pomegranates. Pomegranates single-handedly are one of the most powerful antioxidants out there. Okay, so specific kinds of antioxidants that are gonna fight off, you know, usually the kinds of anti uh, kind of inflammatory uh -huh. components and things like that that you're gonna get from everyday stress. So we're gonna use this one. Now you notice we've got all different kinds here. I bought this one from Costco to show you uh, one particular thing. Okay, so in this case we had uh, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, kale, spinach, bananas, but it had azorbic acid mm -hmm. and citric acid added to maintain color. Why have something organic and then add that? It was just a bummer, Yeah. but also the bananas. So uh, you may, may or may not know this, but why do people typically, why do, why do athletes, I should say, think that they should eat bananas usually? Probably just for the sugar, right? Well, I mean, you also, what's, what's the other one you hear? Potassium. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so people are always like, potassium, 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 like I need to eat my bananas. You know how many bananas it takes to get to your daily allotment of potassium? A dozen. Just about 11. <laughs> You've done your homework. Okay. So, but you know how many grams of sugar that would be? <laughs> Probably all over 100. <laughs> Enough to put you into a diabetic coma pretty sure, quick, dude. right? Yeah. So I was just, I, I see this and I cringe because they're like, oh, make a smoothie. Really? Right. Okay, get your potassium elsewhere. Get your potassium from some greens, right? There you go, yeah. So power I'm greens. having the greens be in this smoothie simply because I want you to get your power greens. I want you to get that potassium because believe it or not, the potassium plays a critical role in how your brain fires, okay? It really does. Sodium potassium balance. I'm rambling. <laughs> <Let's> go. <laughs> That's good this. rambling, man. So we're using this stuff. I'm sorry if you guys are getting bored on this. Uh, go ahead and use all of this, but I want to make sure I get some wow. pomegranates. Not all of it. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm not going to pick things out of ah, it. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. What I want to, yeah, yeah, there we go. So cherries and pomegranates. So there's it goes. There goes a the cherry. Wow. Okay, there's some strawberries. That is such a cool mix. It's a really great mix. And raspberries. So all super low glycemic. More cherries. There come the pomegranates. I knew they wouldn't rise at the top. I'm going to try to get a good number of those. And at Costco. It really is good. Yeah. Again, this is not going to be a keto friendly recipe. Okay? Because you see those pomegranates, although they're high in what we need in terms of antioxidants, they're also pretty damn high in Yeah, sugar. exactly. But so, it's a paleo. Yeah. Smoothie. This one is one that tastes good with a little bit of coconut flavor. Uh, coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the coconut. That's right. It tastes really good with a cucumber flavor, so I'm just going to add a little bit to Do it. it. Um, honestly, I'll just probably just a couple inches of coke. A uh, <laughs> couple inches of coke. <laughs> I got to stop doing that. So we have some other things here that we're going to add. We're talking antioxidants again. Yes. So cacao powder. 
Do you know the whole story of the cacao bean and how it turns into cocoa and everything like that? Yeah, it ferments and then yeah. uh, roasted and dried yeah. on this stuff. Pretty yeah. interesting. So, mm -hmm. very believe it or not, chocolate is a fermented food. Yeah. People don't realize that. Yeah. If you've ever noticed when your gut is sensitive or like, I don't know, a good example would be like after you have a stomach flu, things like that, you're a sensitive guy, right? If you were to have cocoa powder, you'd get really bloated. That's because it is still a fermented food. Yep. You still like can get bloated from it, so you use it in small amounts. I'm gonna need a little, probably just do about a tablespoon of this here, but also one of the most powerful antioxidants that you could possibly get. Yep, and there's zero sugar. Zero sugar. So one of my favorite things to do is I usually take cocoa powder or cacao in this case, mix it up with uh, warm almond milk, add a little bit of stevia yeah. and a little bit of coconut cream, and I make like, what call it Thomas's chocolate moo moos. I love it. It's like my, <laughs> my, I just drink it before bed, pretty much invariably. Yep, okay. it's a great way to get a sugar-free hot cocoa fix. Lemon. Very interesting. A little bit of lemon juice. Basically what it's gonna do is it's going to help us out in terms of uric acid in the body. So it's gonna help uh -huh. us, helps the kidneys function a little bit better. And then we could use a zester, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of the peel. Because I, I want the pectin in there. It's not gonna matter because it's going to totally. pulverize in a blender. Totally. Normally we'd zest it. I might do a little bit more. So pectin is an interesting fiber. So it's a soluble fiber that when it goes into your gut, it really does slow down gut motility. So that little bit of lemon peel combined with some of the other stuff we're doing here is one of the reasons why this is gonna satiate you so well. It's gonna keep you just That's full important. for yeah. a lot of the day. Very important. So really powerful stuff there. We could add a little bit of cinnamon. It does add a nice taste. Uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about the health benefits of cinnamon in this case because I wanna save it for the next brain booster. Ah, cool. Okay, but I guess, but spoiler alert, it's a brain booster. That's right. <laughs> Sorry to keep dancing around you. No worries, mate. Um, I'll let you, uh, you're gonna enjoy this. Do you wanna have chia seeds or no? Uh, we did in the last one. No okay, because yeah. you totally can, because again, we're talking about the fiber. Yeah. So we've got two different kinds of soluble fiber. We've got the pectin, which nice thing about pectin is it does tend to draw a lot of the uh, toxins out of the intestinal tract and helps them uh, evacuate, right? Now, the chia seeds are going to add additional bulk to that because it's a soluble fiber. Soluble fiber draws water in and creates a bulk in the stool, which is really beneficial. Yeah. And you can get, by, if you're doing keto, by the way, Chia seeds, soluble fiber, really powerful stuff because you can, people are always concerned about dietary fiber, will it kick them out of keto? Right. You can get more bang for your buck with a little bit of soluble fiber like chia because it's going, all you need is a couple grams True. of it because it's going to swell up with water. That's a good point. Versus trying to load up on 20 grams that right. could kick, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, it totally yeah. makes sense. So, okay, we don't need to do it in there. So we're good to go here. Um, we have enough sweetened stuff in here. I don't think we need to add the Lakanto. Nah, we no could no. if we wanted to. You no can no. always uh, taste it and figure out. I probably went a little overzealous on some of this stuff. I'm gonna have That's to add right. a lot more. It's such an interesting there. combination of stuff here. Most people would not think to put this in a smoothie. Put everything in a smoothie. We can put some tuna in here. <laughs> uh, the greens. Ah, oh, power greens. This is the bag of organic power greens we get. So we just got like Costco threw up here on my kitchen counter. Pretty much. I can't. <laughs> it's a dream come true for me to be honest. So I'm okay with it. We're not going to use much. Um, it is a smoothie, so it, the the. The bitterness of the chard could be a little powerful, so I'm just gonna kind of try to pick around the chard a little bit. But we got baby kale in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've talked about in other videos. Kale is great, cruciferous, high, really good for the liver, good for the liver in terms of processing excess estrogen. However, regular kale, how many times have you put regular kale in a blender and it ends up gunking up at the bottom? Totally. You can never do it, right? Totally. So here we've got ba baby kale. Just nice. So, I won't throw that one in there. You don't want my germs. Yeah, we're all friends. And we're off to the races. <laughs> Money. See, I rev that like a Ferrari. <laughs> That's right. This is a Ferrari of smoothies. If you, first of all, you can't even get this at a smoothie store, even in LA, I don't care what hipster juice joint you go to, they don't make that. If they did, they would be $25 a class. Yeah, totally, <laughs> totally right. Totally and people right. would pay it here in LA, trust me. All right, my man. You did the honors of that sucker. Awesome. That's really good. The coconut. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. I'm losing it, Bobby. <laughs> this is what happens when you film four videos in one day. The cucumber, the cucumber. is good. <laughs> it's that spa kind of refreshing thing. Hey, let, me get some, let me get some cucumber cream. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the blend of the cherries and the pomegranate. And you could taste a little bit of those greens, but not too much. Just enough lemon to bring out the yeah. taste of the fruit. Yeah, totally. Yeah. This is awesome, you guys. Make this, once again, all recipes down below. De-stress your day. This is the way to go. Yeah. I mean. Just drinking this alone is going to de-stress you. It tastes mm -hmm. so good. Unfortunately, I'm in keto, so I can only have a couple of sips. <laughs> but the team's going to enjoy these. All right, we're going to crush these, and then third one is coming your way. What are we making? We are making blueberries and spice brain booster. Awesome. We're back. And you know what? We shot a lot of content today. Ton, dude. My brain is pretty fried. Actually, big time. <laughs> I don't know if I want to fire my brain up here at 
4.20 in the afternoon. True. Uh, I'll be like wired all night, but there's no caffeine in this, so it's True. not. But for the sake of them, we'll do it. We'll sacrifice our brains for you we'll guys, is what he's saying. We'll sacrifice our sleep, as we'll be wired. <laughs> like, Bobby, like, you want to like shoot six more <laughs> Yeah, like, overnight shoot. How do you guys want that? We'll call it the Night Stalker edition. <laughs> JR just shook his head, no, God, no, please. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but, hey, but anyway, what we've got, we've got here one that I've been doing for years. I call it Blueberries and Spice. Love it. And it's, it, it's Blueberries and Spice because... Yes, it has spice and it is spicy and sweet at the same time, but it's all about brain boosting, okay? It's all about different ways to boost your brain. So we're gonna start out really simple. It's blueberry based. Blueberries, very, very high, first of all, antioxidants, which yeah. is great, but also what's called anthocyanins, okay? Anthocyanins create or help produce what is called brain-derived neurotropic factor, BDNF, okay? Now, BDNF, is quite literally brain fertilizer. Okay, what it does is when it is released in copious amounts within our bodies, it saturates our uh, cells, our neurons, and it protects them. Wow. And it allows them to grow and it allows new nerve cells to grow. So when we say brain fertilizer, it almost literally is That's brain amazing. fertilizer. It grows new synapses, it grows new uh, connections. So really powerful stuff. So one of the ways that people boost BDNF is through high, high, high intensity exercise, believe it or not. So I don't know if you know this, but high intensity interval training uh, has a big powerful effect on the brain and it's because of the BDNF. Anyway, very complicated science. Don't need to, you know, <laughs> you'll find more of that it's stuff on the good, is what he's saying. Yeah, actually, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna make a whole, whole lot because we don't have a whole lot of almond milk, but this will be enough for you and I. Okay. Okay, now salt. Okay, just a pinch of salt. Why? Because our brain uses energy and our bodies are electrical systems, yep. right? So sodium, potassium, it's all a balance, magnesium. Mm -hmm. And in the morning, it's really good for your adrenals to have a little bit of salt. Okay, so what happens is cortisol elevates naturally, which therefore ends up causing aldosterone to hold, it basically makes your body retain water and retain sodium. But if you add a little bit of sodium to your mix, basically the kidneys allow the body to drop the excess water. I like it. So, you ever I woken like up like puffy in the morning? Oh, totally, yeah. Maybe you, I don't know, maybe you had salty, uh, didn't, you know, buffet food. Right. Or something like uh, not buffet, but yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just being realistic, right? You go out to eat, you go have some, maybe some Asian food that's a little high totally. in soy sauce, something like that. So that could be, so anyway, this will help actually help balance that out. Now we've got the fun stuff. So cinnamon does a couple of different things. I know you cook with cinnamon, you use things. Totally. And we got this, I mean, this stuff at Costco is good, the organic stuff. I'm just going to add a good amount there. Nice and liberal amount, probably a couple of teaspoons. You want to do the cinnamon challenge? <laughs> I think we'll save that for another video. Okay. Two reasons we've got cinnamon. One, Methyl hydroxychalcone polymer. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll just leave it at that. That, is, that is something that helps, it mimics insulin in the body. So it's what, so when you consume carbohydrates, you're normally having an insulin spike, okay? Now, what if I told you, you could make it so that you mimic insulin without having carbohydrates, therefore it lowers your blood sugar. Because Amazing. insulin opens the cell, so blood sugar can go into uh -huh. the cell, okay? But normally you need to consume carbohydrates or sugar to get that to happen. But in this case, it mimics insulin. So without consuming a whole bunch of carbohydrates, we open the cell doorway more, so blood glucose oh. drops. So if you're diabetic or you're someone yeah. who's watching, yeah. That's very huge. Type two diabetics, this is a huge boast. Uh, wow. How does that help your brain? Well, it helps your brain because you're not gonna have blood sugar crashes. Totally. So it, it does something interesting. So it converts to sodium benzoate in your body, which actually does in turn also help increase brain-derived neurotropic factors. So we're in good shape there. But then you might be wondering, why is it cinnamon and spice? Well, because it's literally spice, not because of the cinnamon, okay? It's literally spicy. So we're adding a little bit of which okay. we've done a lot today on his done channel and mine. We get lots, okay? I'm all about it, okay? It's a thermogenic effect. When we raise our core body temperature, it does increase blood flow to the brain, which means, guess what? More blood to the brain means more mental boost, right? So we're sitting in good shape there. Then we can do a couple things. I'm going to add just a little bit of this Thrive Market that. collagen again because mainly we've got pure sugar and stuff here from right. the blueberries. I want to turn that down a little by adding some protein. It's going to slow the digestion of it, help our blood sugar out a little bit. And then this keto creamer, because it tastes awesome from Thrive, yep. and we get those MCTs in it once again. Totally. Which are perfect. And if you can't find the keto creamer, you can also just use coconut milk powder too. It has the MCTs, right? It does, yes, yeah. yes. And last but not least, to make it a little bit sweeter, we'll add a little bit of Lakanto. I also have used, uh, Lakanto has this liquid sweetener, so if you wanna have one that doesn't have the erythritol in it, right. you could do that. That's all there is to it on this one. You can get, whoops, you can get as creative as you want, but now this one's almost keto friendly too. It's just the amount of blueberries we have, right. the ratio is just a little high. It 
just needs a the little color, bit of... First of all, the color on all three smoothies is a 10 out of 10. Even the Russian judge is going to give Thomas a perfect score. These are awesome colors. We're going to add a little bit of calorie. This is a total, you don't have to. This is optional right here. I just wanted to add some canned coconut cream in there. We should just open up a juice shop in LA. It would be the hottest place around. Oh, we would. All the celebrities would be coming here. Cheers to the last Thumbs up. smoothie. Wow. This is my favorite one. No. That is so darn tasty. So you, you almost instantly feel it in your brain. Yeah, this it's is wild. so good. And even though we added a pinch of monk fruit sweetener, it has the perfect amount of sweetness. And the coconut cream was a great call. Good job on that one. Yeah. Wow, you guys. Three amazing smoothie recipes and the breakfast recipe with that Eggs Benedict. You guys, tons of information. Thanks to Thomas. Tons of recipes today. Thanks to me. All that good stuff is down below. Recipes, macros, nutrients, storage information. Check out Thomas's channel. We have the Aldi haul. We have the Aldi recipes. Yep. And tomorrow we're filming a bunch more videos that will come out over the next few weeks. So, Thomas, awesome day. Thank you awesome, so much. Man. We're going to hang out, have some dinner. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace, y'all. <laughs> <See ya. laughs> That's my thing.